Was it worth it? Like bare as a baby's butt? Yes, ma'am. That's all I have to say to that is yes, ma'am. <laughs> Just Abby right here. Matt is not in this video. We don't need him today. It's my YouTube video. Can you please quiet on the set? All right. Good luck. Thanks. Bye. Love you. Love you. Dudes. See ya. Now that we got that guy gone, let's start this video. We'll be happy to have him back next time. But today we are going to be talking about just things that generally relate to girls. We're talking about my laser hair removal experience yes you heard that right we're gonna be getting pretty personal today you know I really don't care like I tell all my girlfriends so it's only right that I'm out here telling all my girlfriends on the internet I just want to be older Abby talking to younger Abby about my experience and anything that I can share about it because I was just so lost you all don't need to be lost anymore let's just talk about it let's just air it out I asked you Guys, on my Instagram, what you wanted to know about my laser hair removal experience because I figured this video is for you guys, so you guys should be kind of directing it. Let's just start with this one because I feel like I need to just explain what I actually had laser hair removed. What do you re recommend doing down there? And did you try shaving down there? So that brings us to my decision. I'm, I'm just a hairy gal, let's just talk about it. I got dark hair, coarse hair, and I also have sensitive skin. So I would start to get red, irritated skin, bumps, some ingrown hairs, it'd be itchy, and it would just never actually look shaved. That would include my legs, but mostly it was the bikini area. So as a girl who did dance, and as a girl that loved to go to the pool in the summertime, it consumed my thoughts. I was like, okay, well, if I'm gonna be going to the pool this day, and I want to go to the pool this day, then like that's not enough time because I need to shave this day because then it won't be, I, it was just, there was too many thoughts and too much energy driven towards when I was gonna shave. And I tried so many different things too. I tried at home waxing. That was just a whole nother disaster. And I don't know how I didn't end up in urgent care. <laughs> And also, I didn't like waxing personally because you have to grow out the hair before you can wax it. I tried nair down there and honestly, not sure how safe that was. It kind of worked, but it really didn't get it at all and it smelled super bad. It was just not a long-term solution to my issues. Shaving, I tried exfoliating, I tried using special shaving creams for down there. I tried so many different things. Might I add that if you just wanna be a girl that doesn't do maintenance down there, then like no shame to you. This was personally for me, I like could not enjoy the moment because of that. So for me, I was like, this is something that I need to pursue to get laser hair removal. I did, and I got my bikini area all done and everything that is covered by the bikini done as well. Full bear, if you know what I mean. There was no spot left untouched. How much money? Laser hair removal is an expensive option. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So I was in college. I had been thinking about it for so long. I was like, this is something that I really wanna do. Like I'm just sick and tired of it. Before my wedding, I was like, I want to have had some laser hair removal sessions done. So I went to one laser hair removal clinic. Either you can pay per session or you can pay an upfront cost that covers like until the hair is literally just gone and not growing back. With Ideal Image, I'm pretty sure they upfront quoted me at like $3,000 and I was like, Oh my heck, like that is so much. But I was like so desperate for a like permanent good solution that I like literally was kind of considering it. I was like, okay, wait, should I do that? So then I went to another clinic in my town which was called Advanced Laser Clinic and they quoted me at literally less than half of that. I'm pretty sure it was $1,200 and they were like, we'll give you as many sessions as it takes to remove the hair. So I was like, okay. I'm in now because before I was thinking I was literally like thinking about paying $3,000 to get it removed. $1,200 is still a ton of money. For me, it was something that I just really wanted done and it meant a lot to me. It meant a lot to my personal self-confidence and like how I would enjoy lots of different things. I would just feel so much more present in the moment and not thinking about what I looked like or what was going on or what was going to show. Like I just, 
I felt really like this was a good thing for me. I, you know, saved my money. I was very frugal with it. And so I was able to pay for this up front. It was awesome, you guys. But it is very, 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 very expensive. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. So now I'm just gonna kind of talk about like what a session would look like. Cause this one says, how many sessions did it take to get completely gone? This was my experience. So it might be different from other clinics, but what they had me do was- how long have you been listening for? Wow. So on the day of my appointment, what would happen is they would have had me purchase this numbing cream. The cream was literally called Numb and Nummer, which I just thought was hilarious every time. But it's basically just a cream that you put everywhere on the area that is about to be lasered. And then you put that on an hour before your appointment and then you put saran wrap, plastic saran wrap on the areas where the cream is. And then you just put your underwear on, put your pants back on, and then you just let it sit there for an hour before your appointment. I will tell you, it is such a weird sensation. It truly goes numb down there and it feels really weird. And the problem is, is you really have to make sure that you've gone to the bathroom well before your appointment. Don't drink any liquids during that amount of time because there's been, there's been times where I'm sitting there with the cream on and it's 30 minutes till my appointment and I really have to pee. And that is not a situation you wanna get yourself in, ladies. It is not pleasant. It's, it's just not ideal. I'm pretty sure the little bottle of cream is pricey. It's like $40. Oh, now it's raining. One second. So I would try to be as frugal and stingy with that cream as I could possibly be. Those appointments were the most painful, let me tell you. Everyone's asking, how bad does it hurt? Let's just say it does hurt. What I will say though, is if you go to a good clinic, they'll do it super fast. I feel like sometimes like the whole area will be lasered in like five to seven minutes and it doesn't hurt after it's done. So like when it's happening, it hurts, but it's like that's five to seven minutes. You can get through five to seven minutes of it and then it doesn't hurt anymore. The first couple treatments I got, it was pretty irritated afterwards, but it was like not really like that painful anymore. It was just like, I couldn't tell that my skin was irritated because it had been literally zapped by a laser. I think that if you want, you can take ibuprofen, but I never did that. I just used the topical cream. With the laser, there's like a tiny top to the laser. What it's doing is it's kind of just sucking your skin in it. It just sucks it up. <laughs> it's like a pinch. So when you're doing a big surface area, if you pinch a big surface area of your skin, it doesn't hurt that bad. But then when they go into the other nooks and crannies with a tiny, tiny laser so if you get pinched with the little tiny bit of skin that's gonna hurt more and that's where it does hurt it goes quick though and it's it's tolerable like trust me it's tolerable if it's something that you want to do don't let pain be the factor that keeps you from doing it because it's not that bad how many sessions i literally started to lose count i know that i did at least 10 sessions so the laser that they use is attracted to the melanin in the hair follicle so if you have like blonder like lighter hairs it's not going to get those hairs because there's not any melanin in it like hairs like on my arm like that would never be able to get lasered because those are like so light and it would never be attracted. But if it's dark hairs, typically like the hairs that you want to remove potentially, and especially in places like the bikini area, those are dark hairs. And so they work great for lasering because the laser's like, oh, dark hairs, and it gets it. <laughs> that also poses a problem for people that are have darker skin. So if it was the summertime, my laser hair removal lady would would um, recommend to me that I, I don't really tan that area too much. So I would like literally lay a towel sometimes if I knew I was about to have an appointment. If there's melanin in the skin and then it can't get the melanin in the hair, it's gonna just hurt your, damage your skin. That's unfortunate because if you are a darker skin type, then laser hair removal might not be an option for you. I, I'm wondering if there is options for people that have darker skin tones and also want laser hair removal. So you go in, you get an appointment, you get all lasered. Those hairs that are lasered will never grow back. It, it breaks the follicle. <laughs> Am I explaining this good at all? So if this is your hair and then you shave it before your appointment, there's still a hair follicle down here in hair. It gets lasered, it breaks, 
and then the rest of that little hair will grow up grow out and then it just falls out so right after your appointment I would say for the next like week or two little hairs will be falling out and you'll just find them like you can use an exfoliator or like a loofah or something and you just exfoliate the area and those hairs will just fall out at each appointment you will have less and less hair as it goes you just have to wait for all of your body hair to surface at some point so it'll take a while I I was going to sessions I would say for two years because you wait about two months in between each session and I started to wait even longer between my last sessions because I just didn't have need to go anymore after 10 sessions or so that's Lucy goosey and then I like didn't go for like I don't know like seven months and then I decided to go again a couple months ago just for a touch-up and I think she charged me like 40 or 50 dollars to just do a quick touch-up appointment I barely ever shave in that area because I just don't have need which is really awesome something all else about shaving is that when you would shave you could still tell that there were hairs underneath the skin and it would be like darker laser hair removal since those follicles are just completely gone it literally looks like the skin like on your arm like right here it looks like that skin you can tell that there's like no darkness underneath was it awkward I was pretty nervous I'm not gonna lie to you I pretty sure I got laser hair removal done before I'd ever even been to like a lady doctor I was like Oh my gosh, this is nerve wracking, especially since it was such an insecurity of mine. I was like, oh gosh, but ladies, trust me when I say that this is like, the, this is their full time job. Like this is what they do all day, every day. There's nothing that's gonna be shocking or weird or gross to them. Like this is what they do. Trust me when I say like, it's nothing to feel awkward about. And I felt totally fine. Like they'll get you settled, then they'll leave. And then you, you know, take off your pants. I leave the cream and the saran wrap on. They'll tell you how they wanna do it at wherever you end up going. Put the little sheet on me. I was like, okay, here we go. I was like hyping myself up in my brain and I would just think like when I was going to appointment I was like I'm gonna be out of here in like 20 minutes I can't get through it 20 minutes of discomfort and awkwardness I don't know you can get through it and it really wasn't that awkward it's their job they're happy to help you I literally just talked to her the whole time <laughs> she's doing it I'm just chatting away because it makes me feel more comfortable to talk we have good conversation while it's getting done so like I would just say if it makes you feel comfortable just to talk and to just like feel comfortable with your person like just chat it out it won't be it really won't be that bad trust me this one says does the hair grow back when your hormones shift period pregnancy etc my laser hair removal lady did tell me that like sometimes like with pregnancy or things like that like hormone shifts the hair can come back but she said usually it's gonna be like lighter and like not like way more manageable and in which case you can just get a follow-up appointment this one says how long does it last is it worth it I think that's why laser hair removal is so worth it because like with waxes and shaving you're constantly buying products for that waxing you're constantly buying appointments the thing about laser hair removal is that you get it done and it is a permanent solution I like personally I'm such a big advocate for laser hair removal because it's permanent and then you don't have to think about it anymore you don't have to worry about when you're gonna shave when you need to make an appointment for waxing like you don't have to think about it anymore this one says armpits yay or nay I really want to get my armpits done because I had such a good experience with down there now I'm like empowered I'm like what more can I laser now like I want to get my armpits done maybe for christmas matt will let me laser my pits <laughs> that's a really saucy christmas gift does it really work yes you guys when i tell you my lady even told me she was like wow yeah like you have a lot of hair i'm like yeah i know that's why i'm here <laughs> she wasn't rude about it or anything but she like was definitely like observing like yeah you have a lot of hair and like I probably was one of the more extreme cases like I was like I need this like I really want this even with as much hair as I had like thick hair it's literally like my arm not that hair down there is unhygienic but it makes me feel more hygienic it makes me feel like way more comfortable not itchy not irritated like I just feel so much better was it worth it like bare as a baby's butt yes ma'am that's all I have to say to that is yes ma'am oh someone's asking if Matt ever got laser hair removal Matt did not get laser hair removal he's all natural will it work for someone with thick dark hair down there yes ma'am people with thick dark hair are the perfect candidates for laser hair removal someone said did you do the full or just the bikini line I did the full 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 everything I kind of went back and forth about that decision because I was like should I just do the bikini should I do the full and then I was like if I'm here if I'm showing up for this I'm gonna just do it all you know what I mean did you do research to find the best place near you 
yes, I would definitely recommend shopping around, looking around places. Cause like I said, the first people that I went to quoted me over double what I actually ended up paying. And I'm very happy with the results that I got. So just shop around. So did you do any research before going in for it? Like health wise, does it affect anything? It's perfectly safe. I was kind of worried about that. I was like, I don't know how safe it is to have a laser down there. Like, let me like look into this. I would definitely say do your own research. But um, from what I found, like I felt very safe and very comfortable. Do you use an at home laser hair removal device or do you see a professional? I see a professional. I just felt like I think I would get better results and feel safer if it was a professional doing it. Maybe in the comments if you have a great at-home device that you trust and you think it, you, you would definitely recommend it, comment it down below so we can all benefit. Maybe I can try out an at-home device on my armpits. Wait, that would actually be kind of fun. I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe that's a bad idea. For someone with dark hair and grows and every 12 hours, will it work and color go away? Yes, and that was like my most exciting thing because like I was the same exact way. It looked like there had never been hair in that area, which is like amazing. This one says, does laser hair removal work well on the face? I have never considered that, nor have I actually talked to anyone that's done that. So I can only speak for the bikini Brazilian area. I got a full Brazilian, that's all I can talk about. This question is, did you have to be fully nude? No, I had my top on still. I was fully nude though from <laughs> the waist down, but I did have a sheet over me. Do you ever regret it or wish it wasn't so per permanent? For me, no, like I just, I knew that I didn't want hair there and I still stand by that. Was it Matt's idea and did you tell Matt before you did it? I told Matt that I was going to do it, but we weren't married or even, I don't even think we were engaged at this point. Like it was just something that I was like, I want to do this. Actually, you know what? I'm pretty sure we had just gotten engaged and I was like, I want to make sure that I do this for myself before we're married. I know I just feel so much better on our honeymoon, like with being in Mexico and swimsuits and me being nude for the first time in front of Matt. Like I just knew that I would feel so much more confident and so much better in my own skin. I wasn't really asking for his opinion on it. I was just like, this is something that I want to do for me. And I just talked to him about it because we talked about literally everything. Pretty soon our finances were going to be combined and this was obviously a big purchase. So it was something that I talked about with him but with the whole like intent like this is really what I want to do he just wanted me to feel confident and comfortable too so it worked out great oh wait I'm gonna actually end this on a funny story this is just a little treat for those of you who stayed to watch until the very end Mwah, I love you guys the most you may remember that I said to prepare for a laser hair removal appointment you put the cream on and you put the saran wrap around that area and then pull your underwear and pants back on after that a couple months ago when I went for my touch-up appointment I was like oh wait I don't have the cream I don't have saran wrap well one of my friends that had talked about getting laser hair removal was like oh I have the cream because she ended up going after I literally was like it's the best thing ever you should go so she was like oh you can just borrow my cream and we have saran wrap in the kitchen and I like woke up with barely enough time to get this cream on before an hour before my appointment so I was like working fast I was like oh my gosh like I want to make sure the area is numb before I go so I like put the cream on and I'm like wait where's the saran wrap I'm like looking for saran wrap in the kitchen everyone else in the house is asleep I'm, like going the drawers and I was like she said that there's saran wrap but there is no saran wrap in this entire kitchen like I had searched it top to bottom there was literally no saran wrap I had parchment paper I was like no I don't think that's really gonna work I was like oh I don't know what to do and then I was in the pantry and I found a package of napkins and I was like, oh, the package that it's in, it's plasticky. It's kind of like saran wrap. I take the napkins out and I just have this like plastic part of it. And I put that on over the cream, pull my underwear on, pull my pants on, just in time for it to be like 60 minutes before my appointment. This was literally me two months ago. And she's like, okay, I'm gonna leave the room. Like you can take your pants off and then put the sheet on and we'll get ready to go. I start to peel away the plastic wrap. As I'm pulling it, my whole area down there is orange and black, and it says hefty on it. <laughs> oh, I was literally, there was tears in my eyes. I was laughing so hard. Like, you're gonna make fun of me. You're not gonna believe this. And she's like, what, what happened? And she looks, she's like, oh my gosh, Abby. Like, we were just laughing so hard. It was definitely something that like only I would do. Like, I always get myself in these really ridiculous, weird situations. It's just like, Abby, like, how did you end up here? If any of you guys have questions that I didn't answer, just comment them down below. We love you guys so much. Thanks for being here and thanks for making this a safe place for me to get personal. It really means a lot. You dudes are the very best. Like, 
and comment down below and I love you guys. Peace out dudes.